That was scary! That was scary. That was a very beefed up ape. Good afternoon, Pokey Sports. Welcome to the VGC Battle Sim Regulation H video. Bringing you back Caliber. Yes! Who would have guessed it? When you go to Showdown, you arrange by base stat total, and you find that there's a pseudo legendary this game that is not immune to fire type moves, but loves getting hit by them and can't really be burnt. It seems like a pretty darn good time. Not to mention Dragon Ice, great offensive typing. It does really good offensively. Not the greatest defensive typing, but you know what is nice about this game is that we can fix that. We have the Terra Poison with the Max Calibur here, also holding the amulet, uh, the clear amulet. With Glaive Rush, Ice School Crash, High Horsepower, and Protect. A little bit of Kevin Luck is mixed in there. I'm not the biggest fan of Ice School Crash misses and High Horsepower misses, but hey, Glaive Rushes nearly one-shot everything that they connect with. So, can't wait to do that. Anyway, as for the rest of the team, super straightforward. Grasswater Fire Core here with the Palafin, Rillaboom, and Incineroar. Nothing too crazy except for a Scarf on the Palafin, so that's always neat. You get to do like Scarfed Wave Crashes in the late game after you're a big boy Palafin. We also have the Golden Go here as our Ghost type with Steel Terra and Make It Rain Nasty Plot set. And then last but not least, we have the Whimsicott with Tailwind, Moonblast, Encore, and Taunt holding the Cover Cloak and the Prankster. Super, super straightforward team. Super aggressive, super balanced. And I'm excited to try it out. You know, this looks like it's going to be fun. This is a very meta team. And John Luke, you made yourself a very scary looking team. John Luke, we actually had a video with John Luke not too long ago, like probably a couple days back on John Luke's channel. I will link that down below in the description so that you guys can check that out. I pretty much crash his channel when we play on Showdown. Built a Conkelder team, it's a fun time. Anyway, John Luke, thank you for uploading this team to the Pokesports Discord. Let's see what Bax can do, guys, because I want to see what it can do in Regulation Age. If you guys are excited to see Bax in action, hit the like button down below, subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. With that said, let's go on to today's video. Rokal 1 with the Sun Team. Sun Team with Mouse Hold on it too, okay. A lot of interesting things that I see. I don't love me a sun team. I do think I have to match their tailwind though. They also have a little bit of a trick room package too. They've got a lot of options in general. My battery's dying. What am I to do here? I like backs. I by no means hate Bax. I'm gonna go Bax, I'm gonna go Sea World. I'm gonna bring Schwimmer in the lead, not the lead, in the back. And then I'm leaning closer towards Ensign as a Pokemon that can actually take all these fire moves. Cause I do have a lot of fire weaknesses on the team. I have one, two, three? Yeah, three and then one with Thermal Exchange. So I guess that's fine too. Ba that's why I wanna bring Bax. I have a feeling they're either going to lead with like Tailwind and a friend or they're just going to try to go Charizard Torkoal immediately and then just start popping off. I want neither of those things. In fact, I think I want to deal with the Charizard as soon as I can deal with the Charizard. Now, would force the flip turn out of me because I did lead Scarfed, what's his face? Scarf Palafin. But that's fine. Then I'll have a late game Scarf Palafin. Murkrow Charizard is going to be their lead actually. Okay, I guess they can still set the sun this way. They're probably going to set the Tailwind this way, though. I think we just cook for the Glaive Rush on this Charizard right now. They either Sun and the Tailwind, or they Tailwind, they don't do both. So that's why I'm inclined to just, like, flip turn. Yeah, let me Tailwind. I mean, let me flip turn. Oh, they just protect. Okay, so I guess they can do that too. This way they just match the tail and fair enough. I might just hard swap then. I don't know if I should be. I'm still not too worried about this Charizard. Thermal exchange is my friend. I'm going to Glaive Rush again. I'm going to hard swap going to my NC. Because now they're gonna want to set up the uh, the sun. Instant should be able to take an incoming fire move. Sh so should the backs. In fact, that actually helps me. It gives me that plus one. 
Next turn with the fake out gives me a lot more pressure too. They actually withdraw the Charizard. Did they have a fairy that I don't remember? That's not a fairy, that's a turtle. Interesting. Why? Just to set the sun? Double swaps. Oh. Double interesting. Gonna add friend guard to the field. Okay. See where this is going. Triple swaps. Only Bax is attacking this turn. Listen, I don't think I mind this too much. Glaive Rush is still gonna hurt. Intimidate's not gonna matter. Yeah, that's damage. That's a crit too. Neat. At this point, yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing, but to the mouse now. <laughs> I don't wanna get pop bombed to death, which is why I'm not faking out the Torkoal. I, I, I think I have a much higher chance of letting a Torkoal hit when it's at red HP. And then I do the mouse hold. They're gonna terrestrialize. It's gonna be the mouse hold going for Ghost Terra, isn't it? Who's that? Normal Terra. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, they're, they're gonna try to pop bomb me. No, 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 no. We're not doing this. Oh, and the Torkoal's going for help again. Yeah, you really tried, buddy. But no. Unless you Covert Cloak. Clap. Not falling for this. Yep. Enjoy the taste of my glaive. See you later. <laughs> Woo! Okay, good. Yeah, Bax is working hard. Bax is going far. Charizard's coming on the field now. Uh, they should have Tailwind for just like one more turn, I believe. They will have the ability to set it back up. I'm just gonna protect because I'm weaker because of Glaive Rush right now. I think I'm just gonna take this opportunity to Parting Shot the Charizard. Swap into my, Oh, they're going in in. Relax, dude. Okay. Helping hand. Yeah, no, we're just protecting right now. I'm assuming they're gonna go for a heat wave, maybe? Oh, no! I'm dead. Oh, I lived! Okay, even better. <laughs> Instant's a dumb Pokemon, huh? And he's hungry? Wow. Damn, that thing, that's like solar power in the sun helping hand boosted. Like, that's actually nuts. Here's a parting shot. You're gonna do less damage now. Now, when their Tailwind runs out, I'm gonna have Tailwind momentum. Very methodical way we're playing. Very slow, very methodical. Bring in the swimmer. I did still bring this, dude. Are right, they're tailing Peters, but not mine, though. Here's an Icicle Crash, just in case they do hard swap their Murkrow. Actually, at that point, I'm pretty sure I still knock out Murkrow with a Glaive Rush, don't I? Yeah, probably. Let's just match that Tailwind. Or no, actually, let's just set up the Tailwind. Look at me, I'm faster now. It's time to Glaive Rush again. Bada bing. See you later. <laughs> just one shots with Glaive Rush. <laughs> Left and right. This is great, man. Eruption at that HP. Good luck, pal. <laughs> oh, no. That might be their only attacking move. There might not be another one. Cause they had helping hand, right? Oh, who knows? But Torkoal's not winning the game on its own. I know that. I have only four. I've used four Glaive Rushes in this game. It's a really good eruption. Do it again. <laughs> That's a really awesome eruption. Keep going for it. That should be game. I think I locked that one in. All right, they match the tail. When it's not gonna matter, it's a Torkoal. It's a Torkoal, man. Glaive Rush again? <laughs> Just one shot. That's all I'm getting is one shot to the Glaive Rush. Every time Glaive Rush connects, one shot, one shot, one shot. Oh my goodness. Thermal Exchange again. The Kaiju number eight. Going far in today's video. Glaive Rush again. <laughs> I'm gonna encore myself onto Glaive Rush at this point. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, does it fail? I'm not allowed to do that. Oh no, it did work. <laughs> Glaive Rush again. 
GG's. Wow, what a what a game. If that's not a Baxcalibur showcase, I don't know what is. Baxcalibur legitimately carried us th through that whole game. On to the next, man. Oh, they got boom burst? Uh-oh. Oh, they sure do. Oh, we're gonna need to match this tailwind, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna lead. I'm gonna lead tailwind. Just so I can match it. Bring Kaiju number one in the lead, too. Um... Palafin wouldn't be awful. I don't think it's entirely necessary. I'm gonna bring Rillaboom. Palafin in the back is a choice, though. All right, if I'm bringing Palafin, I'm gonna lead Palafin. That way I can at least swap out of it. Turn one, bring Rillaboom in the back, bring Bax in the back. We'll lock that in. Bax is actually gonna be a, my win con this game, though. I might need to poison terror it. But matching this Tailwind is going to be key. Mm, the problem is if they lead Talonflame, they get Brave Bird me. Ooh, but I could Jet Punch them. I'm Scarfed. I'll be able to outspeed them. Ooh, I'm cooking. I'm getting that Deers. They lead Talonflame. <laughs> I'm going to Water Terra Jet Punch them. That's the plan. They don't lead Town Flame, and I can't jet punch them because they led something else that doesn't want me to jet punch. That doesn't allow me to jet punch them. All right, and I also can't taunt them. I can't encore them. I can only hit Tailwind this turn. Actually, I don't even have to Tailwind yet, so I'm just gonna hit Moonblast instead. We'll start doing some chip damage here. I should be able to outfeed, uh, outspeed those two Goonies. I'm running any mini money. You. And flip turn here. Bastion Legion is another scary water type Pokemon that we haven't played. Well, we've played, but we haven't showcased yet. So that's going to be another fun one that we get to play in the future. It's good, man. It's crazy how Pokemon become good when you would delete the one that breaks through Protect. It's wild. All right, flip turn. Let's get out of here. Get out of Dodge. Get out of town. Run into Arilla, please. Here you go. It's Arilla Boom. They also flip turn, okay. <laughs> interesting, interesting turn of events here. Whatever's coming in is eating Moonblast then. Show me Garchomp. No, they wouldn't go Garchomp. It's pointless to go into Garchomp. Who else did they have? Radiant? Who's that? Oh, the Talon Flames here. Okay, well, there goes Gale Wings. Ooh, they triple axe my swimmer. Oh, this is bad. I lose it. Not great. Not great at all. I have an idea. <laughs> I'm full. I'm full of ideas. Okay, I have an idea. I'm still gonna stop the tailwind though. I don't think I have to water Terra to get the KO here. Flip turn is base 60 only, but this should be enough. We flip turn on Town Flame because we're scarfed. And let's U turn here. Remember, we're scarfed, baby. Ha ha. No gale wings for you. Get out of here. And we get to flip turn into our backs. And then we're going to flip turn. And then we're going to U-turn again. Pivot right back into our palafin. Whoo. Tell me I'm not a gamer. Who be a master? Pokemon master. <laughs> Look at these pivots. Okay, now I definitely bust this to Serena open with uh, the Water Terra water move to the face. Show me Basky Legion again. I'll take it. Palfin's going to be a win con this game. Bax was a win con last game. Palfin's a win con this game. That's how we're doing it. 
Something the feisty. I haven't seen that one yet. Ooh, it's you. I think I just outspeed it, no? I'm just gonna Glaive Rush. Water Tear Flip Turn to Serena. They got no priority on their side of the field. Oh, they just leave? Oh, come on. Don't be like that. They just leave. I mean, the writing is kind of on the walls here. After pivots like that, yeah. I have an advantage. Let's double check and just make sure that I knock out this arena here. Oh, they don't even show it. Man, don't be like my opponent. Stick around. Stick around. Or at least forfeit so I can see the animation. I don't care, I'm keeping it in. GG's, on to the next. Oh, there's a Pikachu here. Regulation H regardless. But yes, there is a Pikachu here. I'm interested. You know, that that that, that seems kind of fun. They also do have Dragonite with these speeds. Um, I do think I want Tailwind here. I don't need it. But I wouldn't hate it. Right? What if I just go Schwimmer in the lead? Can maybe bring a Palfin. Palfin's not really the win con though. I think I'm just gonna go swimmer and maybe Cinnamon Jack. This seems like a pretty decent opportunity to just get a free nasty plot off. Bring Kaiju number eight in the back. Then it's between Instant and Rilla. I could see use cases for both actually. That's a hard call. I'm gonna lean Ensign though. Cause knockoff will still help me with the majority of that side of the field. And I'm not, I'm not like too keen on getting hurricaned by a Pelipper. Granted, I'm gonna get weatherballed by a Pelipper with Ensign. But weatherball does less damage than hurricane does by 10 base points. <laughs> oh boy, we'll see what happens. Uh, either way, I would have to bring something weak to the Pelipper there. Alright, they go Pikachu lead. Thankfully, they can't... ...do anything crazy here. I could set up Tailwind this turn, or I could just wait till next turn. I think I'm gonna wait till next turn. Let us go for... Let's Encore them. Nah, we'll wait till next turn. Let's just go for the Moonblast and the D-Knight and hit Nasty Plot here. We're gonna go super greedy. Super fast. Right away. They're gonna terrestrialize right away too. Into the D Knight. Gonna be normal. Okay, nothing too crazy. They don't wanna get moonblasted. They're still gonna get moonblasted, but. Upper hand! Oh! Oh! Well, there goes Whimsicott. Yeah, Whim's just gone. Oh, they're doing this. Oh no. Yeah, that would be a bad. Okay. Uh, didn't expect that. I sure am glad that they can't hurt me. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Yeah, I have to go into Kaijun. I have to literally make sure I knock out this D-Knight right now, this turn. I'm gonna protect. I'm going to steal tear. I want it dead. I want no part of this. I want absolutely zero part of this Dragonite right now. No, me. Relax. Whew. I hope I'm faster, because what if they just switch the stomping tantrum now? I'm in trouble. Like, this is bad. Hopefully they just target my backs. I don't know, man. That would be ideal. Hand Pikachu in her focus weakness policy D night, man. That's that's what I'm facing right now. That's what I'm starting my day with, huh? Okay. Let's see if I can somehow come back from this. 
That is a huge disadvantage I'm starting off with. There's a lot of damage behind this hit here. I don't think the D-Knight lives. The Pikachu might, ironically. Because <laughs> it has Sash. Maybe. Or maybe it's Light Ball, who knows. All right, just to protect, keeping it simple. Oh, come on. That means they're stomping tantruming me. Oh, no, they Dracoed. What? Well, I guess, yeah, they have special attack, too. Come on! No! No! This is real bad, like... Well, let's try again. God. Okay, if they have Draco, they have E-Speed. Do they have Stopping Tantrum? Hopefully not. I don't know, man. I'm giving them my instant at this point. Brothers Endeavor. Oh my god. Okay, wait. He went for the instant, though. Instant will drop. I knew that. But, like, this Pikachu is giving me stress. Uh, let me play the game! <laughs> Oh boy. I'm gonna try to predict them. I'm gonna Glaive Rush here, protect. Because they know I want to protect with backs, so they're not even gonna bother attacking the backs. Oh great, now now my uh paralysis let me let me use a move. That's that's always nice. Dude, this Pikachu stressing me out. Nope, they just went for- okay. I, I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> I legitimately don't know what to do. They just went for the obvious play regardless. I haven't been able to attack this entire game. This is just a bad time for me in general. And now no matter what happens here, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, it's, it's over. <laughs> Dragonite wins the game. Oh... Uh. Would this have been a different game if I was able to hit any of my attacks? Probably. E speed doesn't knock me. I'm pretty sure I will knock them though. Thank you, game. They finally let me attack. Wow, no way. It would have been a one shot. No way. <laughs> wow. I would have taken care of this guy a while ago, huh? All right, the only hope I have left is if whatever they come in with has like no accurate moves, but I'm pretty sure they could find something that could do one HP's worth of damage to my Cinnamon Jack, because that's all they got to do after they endeavor, is just one HP's worth of damage. Hey look, a bird. That could definitely do one HP's worth of damage to me. Uh, it doesn't matter, GG's. Oh god. Well, kudos to my opponent. They played that one as well as they could have. Even when I tried to, like, make a less obvious play there with the protects, so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to protect here with Cinnamon Jack and attack with the backs. Because they know I want to protect with the backs, and they don't want to waste another turn here. But honestly, it ended up not mattering in the end. GG's, man. What can I say? <laughs> Pikachu. Up against Gabby, rocking that scary uh, tournament winning team. I don't have redirection, unfortunately, so I don't really have a great way of stopping them from doing their thing. I do have fake outs that I can use. I don't know how I'm, how I'm eliminating the Archalodon from the game. I do think Encore is going to go very far for us, though. I'm going to lead Wimmy. And I'm going to lead my Palafin, because I think late game Palafin is going to be really nice for this matchup, especially if they give me the rain. We'll bring my Kaiju number eight in the back. And then I think I'm going Cinnamon Jack here. Yeah, because I'm going to need some special attack to deal with that Archaladon. I can't just rely. And not to mention, I also want something that can take a body press. And Rilla and Ensign both don't want to be doing that.
So let's lock this in. Look at that Kiram. Okay, Gabby. Annihilate Mousehold is going to be Gabby's lead. All right. I think we keep this turn simple. I think I moon, I moon blast the mouse hold. And I flip turn the mouse hold. If they want to beat up, they're going to beat up. I can't do anything to stop that. What I can do is lock them onto a bulk up for next turn. But the only way I can do that is by first eliminating the mouse hold from the game, which I don't think I could do this turn, but we'll see. Oh, they don't beat up. That's even better for me. That means they're definitely going to go for a bulk up with the Annihilate then. All right, that did no damage, but my intention wasn't to do damage. My intention was to be on the field or be a bigger Palafin later. Um, back seems fine. Just trying to make sure before I throw it into a drain punch. All right, gonna get a special D drop. Doesn't really matter too much. They do just bulk up. Do you guys think they follow me again? Cause uh, it's time to it's time to encore now. I think I encore and I glaive rush. Yeah, cause if they follow me, I'll I'll glaive rush the sideman, and they'll be encored on to follow me. They're gonna want to beat up now, cause they were not gonna get another opportunity later. Maybe I should have poisoned Terra here in case they decide to drain punch me. That's kind of something I'm regretting, actually. But they've got to be at least a little bit worried about a Tailwind. I think they're more worried about a Tailwind than an Encore right now. They're going to Terra. Okay. The Ape. Okay. Into Water. Okay. So far, so good. All of this sounds very tolerable. Yes! Got him! <laughs> Woo! Good. All right, we baited Gabby a little bit. This is incredible news for us. They could have as much as they want there. They could have as much Rage Fist stacks as they need. Because they're going to bulk up until the end of time. I do have to get rid of this um, mouse hold, though, because it can switch over to follow me later. But we're just going to keep throwing Glaive Rushes until this isn't a Pokemon anymore. Actually, maybe I should... I got Bulk Up and Taunt them. <laughs> Force the struggle. Can you taunt an Encore? Yeah, right? I'm going to try. Let's just Glaive Rush the Mouse Hold now. I think you can taunt them and encore them at the same time. If you could disable and encore them at the same time, I don't see why not. Taunt is just like a lighter disable. Oh, they forced the swap, even better. So I'm taunting whatever comes in. Nope, oh, I guess I'm not. It's a dark type. Good news is I knocked the mouse hold here, hopefully. No, oh, Wimmy got taunted. Okay, fair. Okay, I see. Because this allows him to keep the Rage Fist stacks now, right? Yeah, that's... That is true. Huh. Not great news. Yeah, because now he has those Rage Fist stacks. Interesting. Let's Moon Blast, and let's just protect for now. I gotta, I gotta finagle my way back into this. I have to outlast my own taunt. Hopefully, I don't get a special attack drop with this Moon Blast. I don't think they're gonna target my Whimsicott. I think, I think they're all in on targeting my Baxcalibur. And we have Cobra Cloak on Whim too. So even if they fake out that slot, we're fine. Okay, now they fake out Bax. Yeah, they're definitely targeting Bax here. Here's a Moonblast. Decent chunk. 
Dang it, man. I gave him Defiant. Well, let's see what they lock on to. Rage Fist. Ooh, that's not ideal. Yeah, bye, Wimmy. Well, then. Wish me luck. I think I gotta go all in here. Water Terra Wave crashed. Glaive Rush. They are a very tanky Annihilate. I'm going to try and assume that I can out damage them. As they go in with Sinistra, that means they're protecting this turn. Or they're just trying to get the Hospitality to outlast my damage output here. Alright, it's my turn to Terra. They're really playing this one out, and they're playing it well. The fact that they're keeping this ape around is like really what's giving me a hard time. Okay, thankfully they don't protect. But I don't know if I get this KO anymore. I still need to outspeed them. It's great damage, but I need to outspeed. Or I need them to go for the Palafin. That looks like it's Palafin. Good. Because now we're Glaive Rushing. Getting that thing out of here. And then all that Gabby has left is a Sinistra and an Insin. Two Pokemon that I should be able to tolerate in the, in the late game here. I just got to get rid of this guy. Perfect. Get the Annihilate out of here. Woo! That was scary! That was scary. That was a very beefed up ape. With a plus two attack. Thankfully they were more worried about the Palafin, but we still have Cinnamon Jack in the back. Uh, we probably... What do we do? Double protect, maybe? I could Nasty Plot, but that seems a little aggressive. So I'm just going to protect, and I'm just going to protect. Because they have a fake out turn here. They could even fake out Trick Room if they want. There's still ways that Gabby wins this game. We are definitely not out of it yet. Like, Gabby can ruin us right now. Okay, they just, they have knockoff. And they do TR. Okay. They don't have Terrors to use, so that's good news. I am... Just gonna knock out the Sinistra this turn, and then we'll worry about Incin next turn. There's a knockoff. We do eat, thankfully. Got rid of my lefties, though. That's never good. And they matcha gotcha. Okay, that's not knocking me out either. Does that activate my thermal exchange? No, it doesn't. Here's an icicle crash for free. Good damage, followed by the shadow ball. Awesome. All right. Slowly but surely maneuvering our way back. Do you guys think they bother going for my Golden Go? My Golden Go doesn't do damage to the instant. I think they're going to all in my Kaiju. I guess I should just go for a special attack or special defense drop. Not that it matters. N neither one matters. They're both not going to do enough damage here. I do have high horse. Let's go for a high horse once and then a glaive rush. Oh, they did just end up attacking Cinnamon and Jack again. Okay, so I was actually tempted to protect with backs that turn just in case they knocked off the backs that turn. Wasn't the case though. Big high horse damage, though. They're hungry. All right, I don't think I have to risk another high horse miss. At that HP, I can Glaive Rush. But while I'm here, I guess I should stall another turn of their Trick Room. I don't have to do this, but I'm going to do this because it could make or break the game if I miss this KO somehow. All right, they just knock off. And the next turn, we'll just go for the Glaive Rush. Even though this seems like a super duper safe and super duper boring, it's the better play. 
Yeah, we eat. We eat. You can have my clear amulet. I don't need this. Here's a glaive rush to the face. Incense drop into a crit. Gonna take a game here at the end against Gabby. All right, so I we got a little lucky there that Gabby just got that target selection a little mixed up between the Palafin and the Bax Caliber. Because like if they if she went for the Bax Caliber, I'm pretty sure I lost that game. That annihilate got too big too quickly. But hey, GG's nevertheless. Thank you guys so much for watching to the very end of today's video. If you enjoyed yourselves here on Poke Sports, gonna take home three wins and one loss, by the way. If you, if you enjoyed yourselves here on Poke Sports, do something about it. Join us on Patreon or buy yourself a shirt, Crit Mattered, Moon Bear hat, etc. etc. Mug. I'm holding another another piece of our merch. And yeah, have yourselves a fabulous rest of your night. I'm Kevin's Poke Sports. Peace out and bye-bye.